is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're back with a brand new edition of my damn thoughts the episodic series here on the channel where we take a brand new wwe elite aew or just a series or some thoughts that i want to get out about this is that series where i get on here and we rank waves we talk about the best and worst of a wave we rank waves we do all those different things sometimes it's just my thoughts on a specific topic that i want to get out but today we have elite series 99 we're going to be ranking the set breaking down the full set for you guys really excited i know your first thoughts are going to be damn i was looking forward to the queen zelina boogeyman review but i just didn't think the interest was there as far as putting in all of the time and effort i would need to produce a full review of those guys so i do apologize for that again that's where a patreon would come in where i could put that up for patreon members and you know if you if you're a member of the patreon you could get that review if that would be something you're interested in or whatever the case is however we do have boogeyman zelina brock trash rollins and riddle here today and I'm very excited to get into this My Damn Thoughts episode. I think it's going to be really good. I think Elite 99 is overall great. And we're going to break down all my categories. I'm going to give you my thoughts, of course. And remember, these are My Damn Thoughts. One of our categories we cover first here in this series is our first thoughts on the wave. What were my first thoughts when we saw this full wave? My first thoughts were I was hyped. I was super hyped. I thought that Brock looked incredible. I thought this set was immaculate. Didn't like the head sculpt, all right? But overall, I thought this set looked fantastic on paper. Once I saw the images, I was like, yeah, I think I can get behind this wave. So my first thoughts were absolutely fantastic. Our next category is going to be the shelf warmer of the set. I feel like this is kind of easy. It's going to go to Zelina Vega over here. Queen Zelina, you know, it's not necessarily all her fault. This figure is actually damn good. Head to toe, best Zelina we've ever seen. Double jointed arms, great feel in the hand, great accessories, great head sculpt, great gear. I mean, this is a really good women's figure right here from WWE and Mattel. But she's going to peg warm. Her last Elite that was Target exclusive, I think. She was like a collector's edition, I think. Was an Elite Zelina. And you could probably still walk into a Target around the United States and find that figure sitting there. And it's been like 10 plus series. And it's just still right in there. So that's going to have to go to Zelina. I think the rest of these figures are going to sell pretty decently. Boogeyman Elite 48 was very hard to find. Brock Lesnar figures fly off the shelves. Seth Rollins, I think being more colorful, having this jacket, it's going to move units. Riddle and Corey. Corbin, I think, are going to move units as well, but Zelina Vega, you know, the women's figures aren't as popular, and she kind of rides up into a pretty epic wave right here, so I think she will be the big shelf warmer in the set. As far as the hottest figure in the set, it's going to go to my man Brock Lesnar. I think this figure is going to be really unique to collectors. I think they're going to want a Brock Lesnar. I think that if kids see this, they're going to want this Brock Lesnar. You know, I think the rest of the figures have a chance. I think Seth Rollins is up there, but I think Brock is the hottest figure in the set, man. I mean, look at this. If you see this man on the shelf and this out fit who's walking away from that not me damn it i ain't walking away from that i'm grabbing that every time so brock lesnar was the hottest figure in the set in my in my humble opinion right there as far as your chase variants are concerned there's actually two in this set for the first time ever and i actually have some news from steve that there will not be two chases every single wave so he did say that so you know don't get your hopes up about two chases every wave or worry about that it will not be every single wave but our chase figures are going to be boom Boogeyman with the red or the pink face sculpt, which looks really damn good. I think it looks epic. I can't wait to track that one down. And then we have the blue Brock, which is very similar, but he's more in denim. He's got blue and white. Uh, I think I saw a really good deal on eBay for that guy, so I may go grab that or something. But those are your two chase variants. I think they both look great. I can't wait to track them down. Or, you know, I don't really order those online. I try to find those at retail. Doesn't always work out, but it's fun to hunt. You know what I'm saying? Getting into the best head sculpt, I thought that there was a couple guys this could have went to. I thought that Zelina's was really good. Matt Riddle's is kind of on the lower end. It's it's most definitely not going to you. Brock Lesnar's is great, but we've already gotten it like three times, so I try to go to newer head sculpts or ones that we haven't seen before. And for me, I thought that Corbin actually had the best head sculpt. This one right here looks really damn good. I think you got to give an honorable mention of Boogeyman right here with the paint detail and the worms coming out of the head sculpt. I mean, just look at this guy right here. I think it captures him perfectly, and I, I love this Boogeyman. The paint detail is insane. The worms coming out of the there with the gap. It is fantastic. But who doesn't love a good trash Corbin right here that looks like my elementary school nemesis Trey? Yes, I did have a guy in elementary school. If you guys watched our last review, go check it out. You'll understand the story. All right, so getting into the best articulation in this full wave, I thought you had some figures that could pose around with the best of them, but I ultimately went with Seth Rollins. His figures before the double jointed arms were so good. They feel so good in the hand, 
but this figure ultimately feels fantastic. Great ab crunch in here, double jointed arms, really smooth shoulders. A lot of these figures have stiff shoulders, you know, Boogeyman, Corbin, Brock. Some of these figures have stiff shoulders and it really pisses me off, but this Rollins can pose around with the best of them. Didn't expect any less, to be honest with you. This is a great figure, and yeah, I think he has the best articulation. As far as the worst articulation, you may be thinking it's Vega. It's actually not. It's going to go to Boogeyman right here. I don't know what it is about this torso specifically, but the, you know, the Bobby Lashley, you know, older John Cena sometimes torso, this gigantic torso that they use right here, with these muscular shoulders, always makes it super tight, and when you add on, not only that, but you add on these big bicep bands that are rubber, and you know, he's got like these other bicep bands, and you know, he's got like his legs get loose a little bit. The knee specifically right here, at the top of the knee gets a little bit loose on me. He's the figure that I wouldn't want to pose around the most. That's kind of what it comes down to for as far as that is concerned, but it's a great figure overall. He just has the worst articulation compared to the rest of the set. Also, with this, this has nothing to do with articulation, but these, this damn clock, I remember his Elite 48 figure having a problem with this, because when you stick the pieces in there, you know, you break away the clock, you lose the pieces immediately, so you want to be careful with that right there. As far as the best accessory in this set goes, which is our next category, it has to be Seth Rollins. Sweet baby Jesus. Look at this jacket right here. This jacket's fantastic. It goes on the figure well. The colors are clean. The faux fur on the collar. The faux fur at the bottoms of the cuffs and the, the duster down here. I know that it doesn't have all the details, but I don't give a goofy god dang about, you know, sculptures and stuff like that when it's referring to jackets because I do not want to have the classic Major Wrestling Figure podcast clip that I constantly plug in these videos. Oh my god, that goddamn fucking old school Mattel stuck in that pose jacket. Gonna... Because it reigns supreme and true that the rubber accessories suck and the cloth accessories are just above all. I think the scooter with Riddle was fantastic. I love all of Boogeyman's accessories. Trash Corbin's shirt, Lesnar's hat. There's some good ones, but nothing's got shish on this jacket. This might be the best cloth goods accessory we've seen from Mattel. It's definitely top 5, top 10 in that area. Now, taking the whole wave into consideration as a whole, 1 through 10, and giving this full wave a rating, after further consideration, I gave it a B plus at an 8.5 out of 10. I think it could easily be a 9. There's a few things holding it back. I think Riddle's head sculpt is kind of eh. Seth Rollins with that trash old ass head sculpt is eh. Trash Corbin's head is a little bit oversized. Some things here and there that kind of lowered it. If you wanted to go 8.75 or a 9 out of 10, I wouldn't dock any football points. I would, uh, I, you know, I can get on board with that. You wouldn't have to get into a, you know, a knockdown fist fight with me. You could probably talk me off the ledge there, but I went with an 8.5. Uh, 8 you know, I try to be, I try to be critical. I try to give you guys my thought, honest thoughts on all these figures. So I went with 8.5 out of 10. Now, with all that being said, let's move these guys the hell out of here and rank this set from worst to best. Now, a few things that you must understand before we get into the ranking is that it's my ranking, first of all. And if you guys want to make your own YouTube channel, make your own rankings for these figures, go ahead. Leave your own down in the comment section below. That's fine. But just because a figure comes in at the number six spot doesn't mean that it is just the worst figure ever and it's not good at anything and it just sucks complete ass. And just because a figure's number one doesn't mean that it's just flawless, cannot do any harm or anything wrong, and that it's just the best figure ever created by Mattel. So so with all those things being said, let's dive into the number six figure, which is going to be Queen Zelina, okay? Different criteria for the ranking if you guys were unaware. Excitement level for the figure, how it feels in hand, does it look like the character, how excited I was, how much usage am I going to get, is the head sculpt good, is the articulation good, I mean lots of different things come into consideration. This is a fantastic women's figure, but it is the worst in this set in my opinion. It's the figure that I would least want if I had to rank these in order of knowing everything I know about this figure. It is the figure that I would want the least out of the full way. Coming in at number five, gonna be the trash, all right? And speaking of this guy, he actually commented on my Instagram post of him in the trash can, and it was hilarious. So shout out to Trash Corbin for the comment on the on the post there. Great figure, so, you know, oversized head, torso could have been bigger, you know, not a perfect figure by any means. I wish we'd do away with the build of figure legs, but he still looks great. I think it's got a lot of positive things going on with it, but at the end of the day, he came in at number five. Coming in at number four, I went with Riddle. Tons of great things about this figure. 
I like it pretty much from head to toe. I think that it's not perfect, but you know, when you're dealing with a riddle with all these different accessories, I think it looks like him. Still, uh, not my favorite head sculpt. I think Trash and Zelina have better head sculpts, but from the neck down, I think the, the riddle is superior. I love all the accessories you get. Cloth shirt, hat, slides, and scooter. Hard to compete with there. Coming in at number three, I went with Boogeyman. I know we didn't do a full in-depth review of this guy, but he is so good, man. So toyetic. I mean, you're looking at worms in the mouth, which is fantastic. You get the heart necklace. You get all this sculpted detail in the pants. Great head sculpt. Great formula. And the staff, which is just a redo of a staff 50 series ago, but at the end of the day, that's a damn good football figure, as we like to say. So, Boogeyman comes in at my number three spot, which leaves our two and one, which you guys may not know which one is going to be which, but at the end of the day, all things considered, I went Rollins 2 and Lesnar 1. Very difficult to to declare a winner in this in this juncture. At this juncture, the Brock Lesnar is just too fun. It's just too fun. It's too badass. I love the jacket. I love the gear here for Rollins, but taking everything into consideration, the head sculpt almost ruins the figure, like when you look at a complete figure. It's almost like you're combining an old era of Mattel with a new era, and I guess you could say the same thing about the Boogeyman figure, because that's kind of just a re-release of the Elite 48 with updated things, but I think it's updated correctly, and I think they took it a, bi a, a bigger step forward with the boogeyman than the seth rollins i love the sculpted kick pads i love the gear the way it looks love the jacket of course but the head sculpt is just like how in the hell but i adore this brock lesnar i think it's fantastic i love the formula i love the idea to put him in the overalls and at the end of the day i just i think i would like the brock just a hair bit more even though this rollins is just fantastic and honestly i'm sitting here rethinking it it could you could flip a coin on these my opinion on these two would probably change by the day but at the end of the day i I went with Brock Lesnar for the sake of the video. I think, I think I'd think i rather have the, the Brock today. Nonetheless, man, that is my damn thoughts on WWE Elite Series 99. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts and your damn thoughts down in the comments section below. Please leave me your thoughts down there. I would really appreciate it. Leave a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate that as well. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Elite 100 will be our next my damn thoughts, which should be very insane. It, it That should be an epic episode, but I'm getting the hell out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line.